Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thanks so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you appreciate my YouTube background videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walk around video I have a very special Porsche 911. This is a pre-owned 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership, it's part of our pre-owned inventory and in today's walk around video we're going to highlight the build specifications on this car and talk about the 911 Sport Classic in general. Now the 911 Sport Classic in front of us, again a model year 2023, is based on the latest generation Porsche 911, the 992 generation. Now Porsche did produce also the Sport Classic in the past, before the 992 generation there was also a 997 generation Sport Classic. Now, unfortunately that specific model trim level was never available for the US market. Now the modern day Sport Classic is to celebrate the 1960s and 70s with these heritage classic Porsche inspired details on both the outside as in the inside. Porsche has produced in total 1,250 units for the entire world, so it's a very exclusive version of the Porsche 911. And let's take a look at again all the special details. Let's start with the exterior color. This specific color is developed for the Sport Classic. It is all called Sport Gray Metallic, a beautiful light color, very similar to Fashion Gray. And again, it is a metallic color, hard to see here in the delivery area here in the showroom, but a beautiful color. The next special item would be the wheels. As a lot of Porsche enthusiasts know, if you look back in the 60s and 70s, we had the Fuchs design wheels. And this is the modern day version of the Fuchs design wheels. Again, specifically designed by Porsche for the Sport Classic. 20 inches in the front, 21 inches in the back, just like the 911 Turbo, uh, where this vehicle is mechanically uh, very similar in its setup. We'll talk about the details. Looking at the front, we can see the turbo front fascia design. Now Porsche did redesign where normally a turbo and turbo S has the active Porsche active aerodynamics as the lower front splitter. The Sport Classic does not have that. And you'll see also the reason why when we take a look at the rear spoiler. Beautiful aggressive styling, very wide body of course with the base on the turbo both in the front and rear. You can also see the LED matrix design headlights, the full LEDs. From a design perspective next to the color you can also see these beautiful stripes that start here in the carbon fiber hood and then continues over the roof. Now very special also about, <coughs> sorry, also about the hood is that it's made out of carbon fiber where normally on the Turbo Turbo S it is made out of uh, aluminum. And again it is painted and based on the heritage of this specific vehicle if I get close to the Porsche crest you can see this is also the classic crest from the early days of the Porsche brand. Now that crest will also match the crest that is applied by Porsche in the wheels. If you look here at the center cap, it also has again the classic crest. And also when we see the steering wheel, you're going to see the same thing again. So again, the specific color, the carbon fiber hood, the stripes, again painted on the hood, continuing over the roof, the heritage Porsche crest badging on the outside and the inside. Also very special is the double bubble roof, typically only seen on the RS models. Again with that striping continuing all the way here to the ducktail on the back which we'll see in a second. Again also that classic look of the uh, metal window trim around the windows looking spectacular. The mirror assembly completely painted in sport grey metallic and also here on the bottom the side skirts once again completely painted in sport grey metallic. Then also with this beautiful badge which we also saw in the 911 Turbo S exclusive series. The Porsche exclusive manufacturer showing the craftsmanship and detail of this limited edition run, again 1250 units for the entire world. Now the body itself in terms of width is the same as the 911 Turbo or Turbo S, where normally the Turbo Turbo S actually has intakes here on the side. You can see just for the Sport Classic that Porsche actually took away the intakes here on the side, re-engineered the intake system here on the back of the vehicle for this very clean classic look, retaining again that width still in the fenders, looking so and so special. Again here on the back, 20, uh, 21 inch wheels, PCCB, Porsche Carbon Composite Brake System, also standard on the Sport Classic. Now normally those calipers will be painted in yellow, but for the Sport Classic, based on its heritage uh, background, Porsche made the brake calipers high gloss black with white Porsche letters, which of course on this classic look, looks better than the yellow. Again, let's get here to the back where we see something very special also. It is the factory ducktail. Not available on 911 Turbo, Turbo S, also not available on the Carrera models of the 992. So just for the Sport Classic, Porsche created a ducktail. Again, that striping you can also see painted within the ducktail. 
And again, that completely re-engineered intake system here to feed the air to the 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six. So it also shares the engine from the 911 Turbo and Turbo S. Now, because this is a manual transmission, which again is a very special feature, where normally the Turbo Turbo S is an active all-wheel drive with a PDK transmission, the Sport Class is a rear-wheel drive and is a manual transmission seven-speed with the turbo engine, makes this a very, very special Porsche as a manual transmission turbo model with rear-wheel drive has not been in production for a very, very, very long time. So it's a very big project from Exclusive Manufacture to actually change the drivetrain, change the transmission, change the body, add features like the ducktail, the wheels, just an incredible project that was done by Porsche Exclusive Manufacture. Also here on the back, we can see the engine deck with the heritage badging on the back, again, celebrating the 60s and 70s and the iconic model this is. The same here with the gold finish on the model designation on the back specific to the Sport Classic, of course, with the name itself, but just look at the craftsmanship and details on the back model designation. Sport exhaust standard on these vehicles, so the large oval exhaust pipes here on the back with the active flap, of course, within there to create the extra sound from the twin turbo flat six. 543 horsepower, they did have to uh, lower the horsepower level because of the manual transmission. You can imagine the amount of torque and horsepower applied on this transmission is um, quite a lot, so therefore 543 horsepower, but losing the all-wheel drive and retaining, of course, a lot of the lightweight philosophy in terms of the carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber back. Uh, so um, it did lose, of course, some uh, weight versus the Turbo or Turbo S. Beautiful details. Again, let's have a better angle here, again, of the back. Fantastic color. Again, very similar to Fashion Gray, but specific to the Sport Classic. Go back here to the front. All the details painted, the crest, the exclusive manufacture badging. Very, very, very special. Okay, let's have a look on the inside. Where again, for the Sport Classic, we're gonna see a very special interior. Now this interior might look similar to the Carrera or Turbo models, where we call it the, uh, the Heritage Design Interior, but this is not the same. So we have a Cognac, there is a Classic Cognac, and for the Sport Classic, we are using the Classic Cognac with the Pepita seat inserts in the middle, again, celebrating the 1960s and 70s look on the inside, looking spectacular against uh, the exterior color. You might also notice that the headliner has a special perforation. You can see it here on the B pillar. Again, for the Sport Classic, I think also the new ST will have that perforation in there. But look at the craftsmanship again, the crest in the center of the steering wheel is the classic crest, as I mentioned earlier. Look at the door panel here with the black leather, the Pepita inserts also there. The specific vehicle also has the Burmester speakers as a factory upgrade. The beautiful stitching, even the side sill wrapped in the classic Cognac, the LED illuminated side sill with the Sport Classic name there. The dashboard, both upper and lower section covered in leather. The side of the dashboard, the special floor mats with the leather edging in classic Cognac. Beautiful armrest detail also is that the Porsche Exclusive Manufacture name is embossed in the center armrest. And there you, you see it guys, the seven speed manual transmission short shifter. And again with the turbo engine, rear wheel drive, such a unique mechanical setup. You can also see that the instrument dials are lit up in green. Again, that classic look of the 60s and 70s, specific for the Sport Classic. And then on the other side, we can see the actual production number batch. So again, 1,250 units for the world, each car an individual production number, which does make us stand out versus some other exotic car manufacturers. We are actually indicating the specific number on the vehicle. Look at all the details. Wow, just such a spectacular car. This vehicle at time of recording, 280 miles on the odometer. Beautiful details both in and out. Please contact me directly if you are interested in this vehicle. Again, my name is Alexander. Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. This is a 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic. Keep sharing the Porsche passion. Enjoy the weekend and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.